present Dracula. In John Seward's asylum, Renfield has been attacked and badly injured. But who was the intruder? And where is he now? Dracula. Careful, careful. Don't you think I don't know? Careful, brother. We have to relieve the pressure on this poor brain. This ruined man. Now, a little more to drill by the ear, and maybe. The master was here. Broke me. Broke me. Easy now, Renfield. Easy, old chap. Ah, Dr. Seward. Hutch. Mr. Renfield. Van Helsing. Ja. Gute. Ich will schlafen gut. <laughs> Water. Here, a little brandy, my friend. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Quincy. I, I, I have something to tell before my poor, crushed brain goes out. He came in a mist. He was laughing with his red mouth at the window. Don't talk anymore. His Rest. sharp white teeth glinting in the moonlight. He offered me rats, millions of rats, and each a life, and each more life for me. I saw the small red eyes of those millions of lives, and he offered them to me if I would worship him. I opened the sash and called him in, Master, Lord, and he came in as the moon often passed through the smallest crack. Then he came whenever he wanted, and never asked again. And then Mrs. Harker came and gave me tea. Oh, oh. I, I don't care for pale people, and she looked pale. He'd been taking the life out of her. I resolved to stop him. I'm mad, and the mad of the strength of ten, I'm told. Nina. I held him, and he flung me down. And there's a red cloud before me, a noise like thunder, and he broke me. I'm sorry. Those eyes, those red eyes, dear God! 
Now take yourself. One day, one day, Professor. This is it. Gone. See, that vapor through the open window. Gone. Get water. Wash your face. There's blood on her mouth. How is she? They shocked Arthur, but persuaded to come and take breakfast. She need to feed the inner man. <laughs> Woman's maybe I'm meaning, eh? <laughs> uh, gentlemen, Jonathan needs as much comfort as she. He feels uh, guilty, I think. Yes, so, breakfast, and then we plan, eh? We have little time. Ah, uh, good morning again, my dear girl. Morning, morning. morning. Jonathan. Morning. Jonathan, come, morning. come, morning. sit. Would you be kind enough to pour the teas? Yes. Of course. My dear, maybe you should have stayed in your room. No, 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 no. Under no circumstances. She is with friends. Nina, my dear, pour the tea. I feel unclean. You all may have cause to fear me. He made me... made me... Nina, you are our friend. Now, please... Sugar, Mr. Morris. Ma'am, I salute your courage. You are too kind. Madame Mina, you are not afraid for yourself, but for others from yourself, yes? No, sir. My mind is quite made up. To what? If I find in myself, and I shall watch keenly for it, any signs that I would harm any that I love... I shall die. You would not kill yourself. If there were no friend who loved me, who would save me the pain, yes. Mina. My child, there is such an one for you, but you must not die, not by any hand, but least of all by your own, for that is the way to the undead. To protect you, I have this. It is the host. It serves to protect in daylight. Will you allow me, Mina? Yes, yes. I place it on your forehead uh, in the name uh, of the Father and uh, of the Son. Uh, and of get the it off! Get it off! My sweet, sweet Mina! Please. Even the Almighty shuns me. How it hurts me. You may wear that scar till the day of judgment, but it shall be washed away then, for God will know what you are, Mina. We promise to release you from it and from that evil. So... We begin in Piccadilly. Arthur, time to do your act, my friend. Hello uh, there. What's this then? Are you breaking and entering in broad daylight? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stupidly locked myself out. Ha! Deuce of a job fighting the locksmith. I know him, sir. Good man. Trustworthy. You can't be too careful, sir. <laughs> yeah. There we go, sir. Thank you. Indeed. Oh, thank you, sir. Really nice of you. Right, old boy. Sorry to keep you waiting on the step like this. <laughs> the old man would say. <laughs> Thank you, Constable. Very good, sir. Quite the fist, Bernard. I take my hat off. Enter, gentlemen. As I thought. The smell is the same. We have little time. We search, we find what we find, and close them to him. I'll go upstairs. Thank you. you have the crucifix. You don't think he's here yet? At all times, my friend. Take it at all times. Harker and I will do this floor. Call if you find anything. Professor! Down here! I come. Yeah, good, good. Nothing upstairs. So, eight boxes here to deal with. Undo as before. I put in a small piece of holy wafer on the earth bed inside each box. And so, no home for Dracula is available here. Good, my friend. Look, leases on three London properties. Ah, good man. Anything else? <laughs> Keys, damn it. In this bag. Keys. We have him. Quincy and I will go to these properties and search out any more boxes. And we wait here for the count. And I will wipe him off the face of creation with this kukri. I will take his head off. My dear boy, evil is not wiped out by evil. The vampire cannot change to sunset. Arthur, Quincy, you go do what you have to. We wait. I'll go. Be careful now. Be careful. Damn it! Six 
boxes in each place, each one destroyed for the vampire. Hermansy and Hackney, they were disgusting places. Still, it's done. Shh. Be quiet. Shh. Eight. Oh, oh crap! He's mine! Pay your sheep. You think I have no place to rest? I have just been. We burn everything that may be of use here. And then we go back to Madame Mina and plan again. We know from the list of the shipper he has one more earth box, so he must go to it. And then we must find him. So. Hypnotize you. Yes, of course I can, my dear lady. Of course, but why? He said he said I would go to him if I... Yes, I, yes, quite so. He is not about me now. I feel free of him. I wonder, though, if I can still go to him. Find him in my mind, my innermost mind. Oh, my dear Madame Mina, but you are a wonder. You are a miracle. Harker, what do you have for a wife but a miracle, yeah? <laughs> can you do it, man? Huh? You ask the Professor von Helsing hypnotizer. You ask if the moon follow the sun. Yeah, here, now. We do it now. Sit, relax, close your mind to everything but this watch in this hand. Very well, Professor. How will you begin? You will go to sleep when I count to five. You will hear me and answer me, and when I count backwards from five, you wake and not remember nothing at all. I count slowly now. One, two, three, four, five, and you sleep. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I want you to go deep into your mind. Deep, deep, deep. I want you to find... She's quite calm. Quiet. You are deep asleep. What do you see? It is dark. All dark. I hear... I hear water. Water and... Gurgling. Little waves slapping, slapping. Outside, I hear men stamping overhead. Yes, yes, a chain and a clanking, rattling, straining sound. What are you doing? I am sleeping. It is so still, like death. Enough. Five, death, four, like three, two, death. one. You can wake now. Safe. Very well, Professor. How, how will you... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Have I spoiled it? <laughs> no, you were excellent. <laughs> <one today. laughs> uh, there is not a moment to lose. He is on the ship. We know that much. And it is weighing anchor. How can we know which ship? Lloyd's. I beg your pardon? Lloyd's. They register the movements of every ship in the port of London and where it goes and when. We can find which ship weighed anchor at... at what time is it? 9.15 exactly. Magnificent! He think he escaped, but we follow. Tell the ho! Go, get on your red frock, Lord Arthur, <laughs> and find the news from Lloyd's. Our fox is wily, but we... We can find him, and find him we must. But why, if he's leaving? <sighs> he can live for centuries, Madame Mina, and you are only mortal. He called you soon. Time is now to be dreaded since he puts that oh. mark in your throat. No. Oh, no. Hurry, yeah. Professor. Nearly missed a train. Uh, I had some things to get. Also, a parcel for Mr. Morris. Hurry up. We're off. Uh, ah. Oh, Nina. Yes. Been saying, oh, 
<laughs> Nothing like cutting it fine, gentlemen. On your account, it seems. Uh, not entirely. Uh, some bullets missed the Morris for yeah, your excellent rifles. Thanks. And also the latest edition of Lloyd's shipping list. Uh, the ship belonged to... The Tsarina Catherine. I talked to the agent before coming to the station, and he said there was a gentleman came with a box to be loaded. A heavy box. It is on the boat for sure. And if the box is, then Count Dracula is yes. too. We make progress, you see. And from the list, we see where it should come into port. Here. Serena Katerina, yeah. Calling at, uh, well, well, nowhere until Varna. I want to say something important. Mm. If... If I can go into his place, if I can see with my innermost mind where he is, as soon as we get closer, he may begin to use me to try to find what our plans may be. I ask you to tell me nothing. Madame, as always we are in your debt. You have such clear sightings. And also, I have to ask what each of you will give, not your lives. I know you would do that to remove this scarf from me. I know that. But will you give me this? Promise me, one by one, even you, my darling husband, that should the time come, you will kill me. Oh, oh, please. Please. What is that time? When you shall be convinced that I am so changed that it is better that I die. And then, when dead, cut off my head and drive a stake through me oh, and give me rest. Ma'am, I swear by all I hold dear and good, that should that time ever come, I shall not flinch from my duty laid on me by you. I promise that I shall make your rest certain. My dear friend. I swear it. I too swear it. Yes, I swear. Must I? Must I, my dear Mina? You too, my dearest, yes. We are one for all time, you and I. Remember the mercy Dr. Van Helsing showed in Lucy's case. Show it to me. I swear I shall do it. And now, please, read the service for the burial of the dead, that it may be done for me. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor, but of the evil. Now there you go, Mullet. Sarge! Good In hot Varna! 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 Oh, damn it, agent. Where's his office? He promptly said. <sighs> How do you think Mina's bearing him? Get out of the way, damn your eyes. I'm afraid for her. She is very quiet, not her usual self. Helsing is worried. Over there. Look, oh. that's the name. Ah, oh, these people stink. Come on, man. The Tsarina is coming, sure, but now he's changed her mind. Not coming to Varna. But she is scheduled to... Uh, this is a tramp ship. Goes where the cargo is. <sighs> I tell him I have cargo waiting alongside his berth. He says, not calling Varna. Going to Galatz, he said. This is Varna, my friend. Fog. I see fog. And I hear the sea very soft, very quiet, lapping, close in shore. Now, nothing, nothing. I'm very worried, my boy. Mina has been lethargic for three days now and gives nothing in the trance. No. Fog, she said. Ship close in. Just where? How close and where? She is being used, my friend. I am very much afraid for her. See her teeth? Huh? See, look. Nothing unusual? I watch and look every day. If they change, if they grow sharp, then we know our duty to her. At present, the Count does not want her. He is sure she will come when he call. We must find the ship. So, five, four, three, two, one... Awake now, Madame Mina. Was it the same? It was good. And when we get to Galatz, what then? 
How do we find the ship? Well, the captain, according to Lloyd's list, is a Scot, it seems. If a man with half a throat torn out is dead, then he's dead as mutton. Found in the local kirkyard, with not a drop of blood in his body, so it's... And the box? Would that have a damn for that box? Delivered? Passage paid? And I'm fleeing away from this god benighted place as soon as I can get up steam. Sure you don't fancy a dram? Good oh, man. He get the box away. He killed the only man knowing where he might take himself. Look, here, here, the mouth of the river. Madame Mina heard it, you see. The river, the oars, gypsies, no doubt, taking him home. But you say he hates water. Yeah, so? What you do if you're running? You want to reach safety, you go the way least expected. Of course. The pirate go by river, mm -hmm. going full speed for his castle, his refuge. Then yeah. all we have to do is get there before him. <laughs> We split up the party. I'm not so sure about uh, that. Lord Arthur, mm -hmm. did you purchase that launch? Oh, it's a beauty. River launch, steam, built in Glasgow. Uh, yes, I got her. Good. What is going on? We uh, go differing ways. I go with Madame Mina by coach. Uh, Mr. Morris, can you ride? You want me to buy horses? Yeah. Reckon it done. John. Yes. You go with Mr. Morris and Harker upriver. If he does leave the river, telegraph to the towns along my route. Mm -hmm. So we take... The trail up the bank of the river. Seret, as far as uh -huh. the town of Funtu. And then the river is joined by uh, a country. Ah, uh, the Bistritza. Mm -hmm. And see the loop here? Mm -hmm. The Borgo Pass. And there, there is Castle Dracula. Had one of these on Windermere. My father was crazy about steam. Wonderful! <laughs> I say, old boy, I'm sorry. Worried about the dear girl. She's safe with Van Helsing. I was thinking back to the beginning. I have never, ever been so afraid and so alone. Yes. Well, we'll get him. We will. Stop, Quincy. Horses are good for another hour. How do you reckon Mina is bearing up? Van Helsing is desperately afraid. She is nearly out of our hands. Mina, are you asleep? No. I am afraid. We travel closer by the minute to that hellish place. I've read my dear husband's journal. I know what I might be. Part of that place where every speck of dust that whirls in the wind is a devouring monster in embryo. Have you felt the vampire's lips upon your throat? I am afraid. I wish we had not come. Did they tell you anything? Not a great deal. One of the younger men said something about a big flat boat coming up very fast with a heavy cargo. Oh, can we get any more speed out of this damn launch? Not against the stream like this. If he's coming off the river, we're close to the gorge of Bistritza. And that's where Van Helsing thought he'd head. I told Arthur we'd meet just below the gorge. See, Professor, the snow. Don't think yet. Are you warm enough? I'm buried in furs. I'm warm and I'm sleepy. I want to sleep all the time. I know. Is it wrong? Who oh, no. D does it mean... We must get on faster. We're close. We are close. How do you know? I know. I just know. You hear it? Yes, I hear it. We will meet on this road with the others. As planned. You see them? A dozen gypsies and a guard. And the box. See? Lifted off the boat and onto the ox cart. What say we take them now? <gasps> Two against twelve? No. We find Helsing and take them in ambush, as planned. You must eat, Mina. Please eat. I'm not hungry. What are you doing? I am drawing a ring round us and over it. I crumble the holy wafer, and we are protected. So, and so, you are guarded. Oh, it's cold. So cold. What's that? I see to the horse. No, no, wait. Don't go outside the circle. Don't. It's all right, Mina. It's for your safety, not mine. <laughs> I am safer than you. I am safer than anyone from them. I see them. What? Mist. Oh, my God. Oh, 
I'm a saint. Jesus saves. Yes. It's over. They've gone. Oh. Mina, oh, my dear child. They were here. It was not a dream. Yes. They were the same that Jonathan saw. Yes. And today I have to go to the castle and do for them what we did for poor Lucy. You won't leave me. You're safe in this ring and in daylight. Listen. John Stewart and the good Quincy Morris. Welcome, gentlemen. <laughs> come, come, Quincy. come, warm yourselves. Did you see anything? The box. And a dozen or more gypsies about two hours behind us. Quincy, he must not get to the castle. I have my bowie knife, sir. I'll take his heart out. Here they are. See? Shooting sitting birds. Mm -hmm. Where the devil are the other two? Hold on. Oh, see, through the trees? Back a bit. To the right. There. Yes, you're right. Harker and Arthur. Jonathan! You must keep your head down, ma'am. This is going to be ugly work. We must give the gypsies a chance. Or a shot over their heads. Uh -huh. Fine by me. You said? Yes. Inga, come down with the locks. Down here. They're ripping up the horses. They're making a run for the castle. Stop them. Sure will. It's out of control. Oh, my. You look at that. It's over. The box is burst open. I'll get his heart. No, Quincy. No, Quincy. I'm coming with you, Quincy. Arthur, cover me. Right on, boy. Go. Come on, you. I'll take you. Behind you, Quincy. I think, I think you got me, Jonathan. I'm going to get me that drop if I have to crawl to hell and back. Cover us! Turn him over. See? See? The blood's still running from his mouth. See? Dear God! Filthy, filthy! The kill! Get in for the kill! No! no. Oh, I never did a better job than this! And this! And this! His head! He's gone. Look at that. Gone to dust. Hush. Please. Quincy, you dear man. You're hurt. No, ma'am. Not hurt. Dying. Ask the doctors. They'll tell you Quincy Moore is just... Cashed in. Oh, no. No, please, no. Oh, only too glad to have been of service, ma'am. It was worth this to die. Look, my friends. Look on her face, her dear face. There is no scar. No scar on that sweet forehead. It's gone. And left. Purity. Ah, it is done. In the seventh and final episode of Dracula, the cast was as follows. Mina was played by Phyllis Logan, Dr. John Seward by Peter Blythe, Van Helsing by Finlay Welsh, and Renfield by David McHale. Quincy Morris was played by Paul Burchard, Arthur Homewood by Crawford Logan, Jonathan Harker by Bernard Holly, The Locksmith was played by Michael Elder, The Agent by Andrew Conlon. And the three vampire women were played by Wendy Seeger, Monica Gibb, and Amanda Whitehead. With a guest star appearance by Frederick Yeager as Count Dracula. Other parts were played by members of the cast. The theme and incidental music was composed and created by Malcolm Clark in the BBC Radiophonic Workshop. Technical presentation was by Jim Ross, Lee McPhail, and Christopher Lampton. Dracula was written by Bram Stoker, adapted for radio by Nick McCarty, and produced in our Edinburgh studios by Hamish Wilson.